Got a time crunch today, guys. Oh, hey guys, JH Miller one here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going out and doing a little bit of bed fishing. Yes, I know it's the middle of July. What could possibly be spawning right now? Well, the green sunfish are up right now in the pond, that fish spawning. And I'm gonna try to go out there and get some underwater footage for you guys. So, uh, we got a bunch of rain coming our direction, and so we're gonna have to race the clock. Uh, I'm actually keeping some of the green sunfish today. The pond owner wants me taking them out because they're so big, the bass can't eat them. Uh, so I'm gonna be taking some of them out today and actually cooking them up tomorrow. Uh, so let's go and go get some ice for the cooler and where I get out to the pond, I will see you guys there. Alrighty guys, so we just got to the pond. There is rain everywhere. There's rain over there. There's rain behind me over this way. There's rain everywhere, but I have found two uh, spawning fish. One of them went ahead and moved back out, uh, but I've got one of them over here that's ready to eat. So I'm gonna go and get the GoPro and uh, attempt to get in the water here. The problem is there's so many rocks down there, but uh, yeah, let's get the camera in the water. Now we're going to take this opportunity just to go ahead and try and catch some small bass and uh, any other uh, sunfish or whatever that wants to bite. In the goal, I got bass. Obviously he ain't going to keep. There's a bluegill. You're telling me there are no fish. Oh, it's a big bass. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> I mean, he ain't a big bass, but gosh, that was so cool watching him come up and just absolutely eat this thing. So cool. I was just saying, are there zero fish patrolling this area? Looked up and Buddy was just incoming. Now I am, for this walker, I am going to be using the X-Zone uh, True Center Stick that I received in my uh, Mystery Tackle Box this month. There's a link at the very top of the description below where you can get uh, your first ever Mystery Tackle Box for as well as $10. Go and check it out. My code is JH Miller. Check it out. That's a fish. Another small little bass. We'll go ahead and keep him too. Cool. And a light tackle too. What time is it? We might head out there in the, the canoe. I got a fish. There we go. There's another one. That's a better one. Oh, that's a better one. There's a drag. I had to loosen my drag up on him a little bit. It's actually quite a solid fish. Oh yeah, that's a so that's a nice one. I'll tell you what, guys, fishing on light fishing on light gear is just so fun. Two pounder. That hook's in a precarious location, but we can get that out easy. There we go. Hooks out. That's a solid two and a half. I was, I was trying to figure out if there's like a constellation at all, but there's not. It's just going to flat suck if I flip it. Crappie jigs and the crappie rod. That's all we need, right? Ah, we're in. Sketchy, yes, but we made it. That's the other thing I don't like about this rod. The line is twisting and see, plus the wind's already turning us around. Not what you want to see when you're trying to stay in one spot crappie fishing. Oh, I got, oh no, I had one. Oh, it's deep right here. Got one. Oh, it's a bass, dude. Why wouldn't it be a bass? Not what we need. Oh, 
Ooh. <laughs> Pro tip, don't do what I just did. I know whatever I just did was, but don't do it. Oh, it's a crappie! It's a crappie! Get in here! Yes, it's a crappie. Very, very small fillet is where I get out of this, but it is a crappie. And that's one of about the right size we want to... No. If that fish jumps out, I swear, there's no telling how long I had that fish on. Oh, that was a fish. Maybe they're out here on this, the edge's grass line. That buoy over there, they are. It's in the, oh, it's another crappie. Yes, okay, okay, so we've, we're on them. So we are gonna have to paddle backwards for a second to get back in position. But I think we found them, guys. Oh my God. That's a bass. Yep. And you took the rod in the lake when he bit that. Okay, see you later, buddy. Holy, I'm flying already. I'm literally on plane. I'm leaving a... <laughs> I'm leaving a wake behind me. I'm literally, I've got a canoe on plane. Whew. On shore. Oh, my legs are locked up, but we're on shore. We made it. I don't care if he sees me. I gotta get closer. Why is he chasing other things? Got him. Oh, I got him. Send him flying, but we got him. And again, the owner actually wants us uh, taking uh, these little... Oh my god. Freaking fin me and peed on me. Uh, because they get so big and the bass cannot eat them. We're going to take this buddy out of here. Guys, I never take spawning fish. I mean, it's just... To me, it's unethical. Because they're so much easier to catch because they're spawning. But, uh, in the case of this little guy right here, they're just not good for the pond. That's a small crappie. And this is a small crappie. They're both small. But crappie fillets are crappie fillets. Take the rods up to the car, then we'll back the car down here and we'll be good to go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was interesting to say the least. I ended up, uh, as you guys saw, catching that sunfish. I really wish I would have done it uh, while I got the underwater footage, but it's still a good time. I got some crappie, I got some bass, and uh, that's actually gonna be a segue into tomorrow's video. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Remember, I've got a new video coming every single day so i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time jh miller went out see ya